Hey guys, it's Sam and this is my spoiler free review of The Sculptor by Scott McCloud. This is a standalone graphic novel and it follows a main character who is a mid-twenties artist. He is obviously a sculptor and he's been really down on his luck. He has been depressed for a while, is just kind of drinking and doing nothing. He used to have a really good gig as a sculptor and that fell through and he ends up making a deal with death that he only has 200 days left to live but he gets to sculpt anything with his hands. You can, you can make a sculpture out of anything. So I'm gonna kind of skim over the world building because this is a contemporary story and there's not much world building to be happening with that, but I will say I enjoyed the fact that this was contemporary enough. Sometimes with contemporary, I find it very jarring if they make references that are too contemporary, that are too current, and that are passing fads or trends. I felt like the jokes and the contemporary bits in here were relevant still, even though this is an older book. They definitely didn't choose things that were too on the nose for, oh, this was definitely written in 2014, you know, because of the different artists that are being mentioned or people that just aren't on the top anymore kind of thing. So that was good. And I do want to talk about the art style. It's black, white, and blue throughout. Those are the only colors present in this, and I actually really enjoyed that because it makes it very clean. It's not super intricate, detailed enough, but not super busy, especially for such a big book like this. I found that to be actually enjoyable. Next, let me talk about the characters because the characters are the whole point of this story. This is a very character-focused story. Characters were a major letdown for me. First off, we have our main character and he is just the typical will-do-anything-for-art person. Isn't necessarily even the best artist and I think that's kind of part of the point, but is just so wrapped up in art that he can't even see beyond it, you know? He's... it almost glamorizes that level of obsession with art and doesn't really pull back from that story. Then you have his love interest who was the most disappointing. I... I don't... I don't understand. I, I don't get it. She is a manic pixie dream girl. And I have not seen the Manic Pixie Dream Girl trope in quite a while. I feel like the early 2000s, maybe even going into the early 2010s, did it really last that long? But I feel like they used to be a more popular trope that would happen. And it's kind of backed off. And she is so that. And she kind of bucks against that sometimes a little bit, kind of in the way that like Clementine does in Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, where like, you know, I, I don't want to be that for you necessarily, but it's never really remedied within the story and within the like plot or anything. She's just this girl who does quirky things, has severe mental health issues that she doesn't address, and it's never addressed that she should address them. It's almost romanticized. Their relationship is kind of romanticized. She is probably, based on the information we have in the book, like a manic depressive kind of person and it's glamorized. And it's like, it's not that those people should be vilified or that that's bad, but just don't glamorize a very serious mental health issue. And it's their relationship is kind of glamorized and it's all very quick because it's only happening within 200 days and she just grated on my nerves a lot. She was only there to be the motivator for the main character who was a male and his actions. Whenever he needed a push, it was her or something that happened to her that was a push for him. And it's like, no, she had no agency outside of being a motivator for him. And nothing pisses me off more than when female characters are just used for motivating the male characters. Like, no. And it was just pointless. I don't understand the point of her having her in there. That was the only reason. And she, and she was just used as this, like, just this motivator along with other tragedies in his life having to do with women. And it was just like, really left a horrible taste in my mouth, honestly. And there really aren't any other side characters of note. He has a best friend who's gay and he has some like tropey things going on with him a little bit too, but he's not very present. It's really just the main character and his obsession with art and his then obsession with this girl and everything. And then getting onto the plot, because it's kind of all wrapped up in this, I don't really get the point of this story in the end. Like, I don't understand what it was trying to tell me. Is art the most important thing? Is love the most important thing? Is... Is there, is there no meaning to any of it? Like, what are you trying to tell me? There, the bad situations, the manic pixie dream girl, the lack of agency, 
the depressive episodes from both characters. None of this is really, like, remedy. There's even points of the female character being like, I don't want to be fixed with medication, and, you know, medicine doesn't, like, help. And, and I just really hate that narrative with me within mental health. Like, I just really hate it. Like, don't make these romanticized narratives of not using medication. It's one thing if you've even, like, tried it, but it was that romanticized version of, like, I, you know, you're trying to fix me, like, your art and all this stuff, and it's like, medicine helps so many people, like, stop demonizing it. Ugh. So, there was so much to that. And at the end, I just was left feeling like, I'm not emotional, I'm not emotionally tied to any of this that's happening with these characters at all, and I don't care. And what was the point? I don't really get what this book was trying to tell anyone, and maybe that's the point. But that seems like a big waste of time for a very large graphic novel. So I ended up giving the sculptor two out of five stars. It was fairly enjoyable to read. It didn't really... it annoyed me at parts going through, but there was definitely some funny bits, some really funny humor, and I thought it was going somewhere, but the ending just left me, like, what's the point? So comment down below and let me know what you thought of the sculptor. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!